welcome to Talking Comics, where we are bagged, boarded, and pre-recorded. I'm Ryan. Hello, darlings. I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying, trying new stuff with the, the intro. Uh, just doing it the same way a hundred million times. I don't know. I want to have fun with it. I want to keep, you know, keep this thing fun, lighthearted. It's good. Uh, it's good. Now, if you'll excuse us, let's talk about some very serious comic book business, actually. Uh, so, where do you want to start? Do you want to start with books or movies or what? We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> movies keep it, it is. Keeping it lighthearted. <laughs> Do you want to talk about Spider-Man since yeah. it's, like, as of this upload date, uh, came out Friday, July 7th. Um, hopefully I saw it Friday. If not, I'm going to have to wait till uh, freaking Wednesday when I'm off work again. So, fingers crossed. Uh, it's going to be good. It's definitely going to be good. I'm trying not to jump on that hype, that hype train too much. <laughs> I'm, 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 in my mind, I'm like, it, it it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be like the best movie ever, like you want it to be. It's gonna be good though. Like they got all their ducks in a row. It looks like. So, my hopes are high, but I'm not like overly hyped. I've been, I've been hit by the hype train. I didn't get on it. I was, like, run over by it. I've been run over by it in the past. <laughs> Tie yourself to the tracks. <laughs> Nobody's coming to save you. <laughs> Sony is uh, is the tw- mustache-twirling bad guy if, in that situation. Ah, I do have something to touch on that. Twirled Not mustache. necessarily. Tie us to the hype tracks. Not necessarily. Let's see if you escape. <laughs> You've got a, I've got the... the I, I, I just read an article with the Kevin Feige... The meeting with Amy Pascal, mm-hmm. head of Sony. Check this out. Sony has the rights to Spider Man. Yeah. Okay. Which means now in the deal, they pay for the movie. Yeah. They distribute the movie. And they market the movie. Okay. Kevin Feige and Marvel make the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And. In, in turn, they get to incorporate Spider-Man in all, I mean, crossover, you know, in, in their universe. For, and, vi- and vice versa. For however long the contract. Mm-hmm. Because we've talked briefly about that before, how they were, like, saying it was like a, a six-movie deal or something like that. Yeah, whatever deal that may be. But, I mean, that's why, that's, it seems a little lopsided on paper mm-hmm. on Sony's mm-hmm. part. You know how much money this movie's going to make. Oh, yeah. They're going to be freaking raking in the dough. I mean, that's the thing, dude. Studios don't like to share. Yeah. I mean, let alone, you got three, if you think about it. You got Marvel, Disney, and Sony. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to get a piece, but there's going to be enough to go around. Yeah. Sony is, like, the biggest mixed bag for me. I'm I'm a video gamer. Right. PS4, PlayStation 3, the last two consoles I've owned. Like, I mean, I love all video games. PC, Xbox, Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation. I love them all, but, like, maybe it's the era I grew up in, you know, the 90s when the PlayStation 1 was, like, like the next-generation console. Yeah. They were getting, like, 3D polygons and stuff, like, doing really crazy stuff with them. So... I have a soft spot in my heart for you, Sony. And with your cinema, it's been a mixed bag, like I was saying. So, and I know that Sony can work with other companies and teams because of their games. I know that they can do this. Mm -hmm. They have had many successful games where they've worked with other companies that they previously didn't work work with before. And so, but it's a completely different, you know, department of Sony. Oh, here you go. This might uh, help you out here. John Watts, the director for this Homecoming, mm-hmm. they're already locked in 
and they're working on the sequel. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I heard briefly, I mean, it's working title, Homecoming 2, or Homecoming Part 2. I think more 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 uh, movies need to do what Guardians did with the volume, too. I loved that, that little touch. Oh, you might love this. John Watts, huge Spider-Man fan. Yeah. Comic book reader. He's already in talks with a, a certain someone, because what he wants to do, he's already got the vision out there. Mm-hmm. Not the vision, but he's got a vision for <laughs> the second one. He has a, a vision. <laughs> yeah. He wants to do Morbius, the living vampire. Oh, that'd be dope. That'd yeah, be really he's cool. He's taking obscure characters because, you know, we talked about the Silver Sable. There are, Sony's already doing the Silver Sable Black Cat movie mm-hmm. on this. They're doing mm-hmm. the Venom movie. He wants to do Morbius, the living vampire. That'd be really cool. And he's in talks with a certain someone because when there's Morbius. <laughs> So talks with Wesley Snipes. That Blade. would be so freaking cool. And Marvel's all for it because Marvel owns Blade. You know. Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen Wesley Snipes lately. He can still do it. Yeah. I mean, Expendables 3, hello. Yeah. He still looks like, from the, go back, watch the first Blade, look at a picture of Wesley Snipes now. De- yeah. Well, he was half vampire, but black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He looks good, is what yeah. I'm getting at. And I... My jaw dropped. I'm like, oh yeah, do that. Do that. <laughs> like, I remember back in like the 90s cartoon of uh, Spider-Man. They did have Blade on there, huh? Uh, they had um, a Morbius like section. Yeah. A whole like story arc where like he met and like was fighting. Then they became uh, allies. But their, their uh, you know, relationship was very rocky because Morbius couldn't like completely control himself all the time. That's what I'm saying because like even with this homecoming out now he's basically taken issue two of Spider-Man yeah and made a movie of it so I wonder he'll do that you know more I mean you don't even have to have Wesley Snipes throughout the whole movie mm. here you know spots here and there and then done but Morbius would be the main guy and then you know he does the the turn like you said and that was what issue I don't I don't even remember 138 Mm-hmm. Something like that. But yeah. He, he'll take issues and just, I'm going to do that movie. I'm going to yeah. do that, which is awesome. Because I could, I could see it. You know, you add stuff here and there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Morbius and Blade in the second. They're already talking about the second one. Yeah, this one's out. <laughs> right now, just, we're hours into it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what you got to do when you're in, a, you know, media production. Yeah, I, I'm not too good at it, obviously. Like, I've had, we've had episodes in the past where Ryan, I just come in, I'm like, oh, I don't have any notes, I didn't think of anything. <laughs> I'm not a very good producer, slash director. But they, uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, see, they're taking pages out, especially this John Watts and, and with Sony doing that, they're doing the, the Marvel mapping, as I call it, for the cinema. Mm-hmm. You know, they got that, and in turn, I mean, that's a good, really... No pun intended. Symbiotic relationship. <laughs> because, you know, when they do Infinity War, Spider-Man's going to be in there. Yeah. You know, so Marvel's going to do that. It's back and forth. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Makes a shit ton more money. Yeah. Love it. I really hope that the other, you know, companies will really look at the success of this and get their heads on straight, so to speak. Because there's only money to be made. Yeah, you might not like them. You might not like the CEO of Marvel for whatever reason. He banged your sister in high school. Who cares? <laughs> but you're if you're running a company, you need to work with people in the similar industry. If Sean can't sell a card at his shop because there's no you know no one that needs it or wants it, he's like, all right, I gotta go to another shop and talk to them and see if they want it. It's business. Yeah. You don't need to go to college and learn business to know how this works. You just need to common sense and have had a job before. <laughs> Pretty, I mean, yeah. That's... A job in the service industry, I should say. <laughs> but the, uh, let's see. Now, now, the other part of this conversation I heard was Infinity Wars. Mm-hmm. It's been confirmed that any of the Netflix 
Marvel characters will not be in Infinity Wars. Ah, bummer. That, that's all right. He, Kevin Feige went on to say that, yeah, there's not going to be a movie crossover as of now. As of now. Never say never, but mm. it's not going to be. I mean, there is so, going to be a part two of Infinity Wars. Yeah, because the Netflix Marvel, we're doing so good, so strong. Mm-hmm. Why rock the boat? Yeah. His words. You know, it's like perfect. Yeah, that plus, makes sense. Plus, if you incorporate, because they're building somewhat, I mean, it, it's all a shared universe mm-hmm. with, with them. But you've already got, like, a shit ton of characters in this Infinity Wars. Yeah. You don't need, and maybe some people, there are people out there that haven't seen the Netflix thing. Why, you know, yeah. mess, mess it up that by dropping in four or five more characters. Yeah. And having to, you know, that takes away from the story. Of what they're telling with Infinity War. Yeah, that you know? makes sense. Yeah. I totally, I, I follow now. Because I, I mean, I even I work with someone that, for some like it's really it blew my mind when she my co- one of my coworkers said she didn't have a Netflix. I was like, what? 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 Yeah, yeah, so what? <laughs> but uh, on a positive note, if, if they're not going to be in Infinity Wars, check this out: Brian Michael Bendis and David Marquez are redoing Defenders. Really? Number one is coming out soon. Oh, uh, yes, yes, I saw that. Uh, yeah. They kind of teased it in the back of uh, Civil War. Civil War Two, I mean. And Brian My- Brian Bendis is the guy who pretty much, one of the guys that, that gave birth to the Defenders. Yeah. You know? And it's cool. I mean, it's easy to say that, you know, is it a shameless cash-in on the Netflix series? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> do we want it? Why not? I do. You know? I mean, I like those characters. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, anyone who's been who knows Brian Bendis, you know, he's a character he helped shape for the past fifteen years, and it's an awesome selling point, mm-hmm. you know. And an artist like David Marquez, psh, you got gold there. It'll do good. If they were to pull in the defenders onto uh, into, I mean, they said I know they're not now, but if they were. I would have uh, had, like, Doctor Strange be the one that contacts them. See, that's where I'd go. I'd go the other way. Don't bring them into the MCU. Bring the MCU. Car- in, bring the, the big screen onto the small screen. In, into the, yeah. Like, like a Doctor Strange. Just yeah, for, like, an episode. Originally, the Defenders were formed by Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. So I'd really like them to tie that in somehow. I mean, I get it. It's a new run. They're doing new things. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. It's, um... You know, because like for someone like me and you, it's like, oh, they could, Defenders, uh, Doctor Strange could do this, and Defenders, and then we could go to the Illuminati and we could do this. Remember Cecil the Turtle? Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the Marvel Cinematic Universe is only, what, 15, 16 years old? 11. 11? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I sometimes forget... Uh, maybe I mean, it's because I'm being hopeful for the future that the companies will all work together. And I'm like, oh yeah, X-Men isn't a part of the MCU. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you just want to start with Iron Man. Yeah, one. Iron Man. So 11 years old. Yeah. Versus, you know, 80 plus years of comic books. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Iron Man was made, was started in what, the uh, 60s? Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> There's a lot. They have a lot to pull from. Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. I think... I can't even say anything negative I mean, about the movies. The easiest... Uh, it's a little easier for them. Well, actually, it's kind of more difficult now. Because the MCU was mostly based off of the Ultimate Avengers. Yeah. The characters and whatnot. You know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury... So now that, that runs dead, I mean they're. We're gonna see. Uh, there's, I don't, I don't, I like, in the most wonderful way. I have no idea where they're gonna go with everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, Infinity Wars, it's it's gonna be gut check time because we're because you could set up the. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be bladder check time for me. Well, that's every. <laughs> it's gonna be a long movie, you. but. Uh, we're going to see who didn't sign re-up their contracts. Because there's going to be a lot of deaths. Yeah. And it's going to make way for new Avengers and, mm-hmm. and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, gosh, I wish I would have uh, decided to read that article. It was something about, uh, it was about Robert Downey Jr. 
I, I like pinned it and was going to read it later, but totally spaced it until mm-hmm. just now. And it was him talking, doing an interview and talking about like, what's his plans for the future and working with Marvel as Iron Man. Unfortunately, I did not read the article because I'm an idiot. That uh, I think pretty much that scene in Age of Ultron was Stark, where he saw the dead Avengers. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much going to be come to pass. I know Chris Evans ain't. I'll be really surprised if he makes it through that movie. Yeah, he wants to direct. Uh, yeah, I mean you that's know? that's typical for an actor once they hit it big. Uh, they want to start directing their own movies. Um, if you got your, I mean, if you got your own ideas, that's great. And yeah. think of the fact that how many directors you've worked with in the past, different styles and and the way they do. Yeah, well, you know, he's, what, what he, not he's to had do. a very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, broad uh, career of roles. Yeah, he's been in Cabin in the Woods. He's been Thor. He was. You know, Red Dawn. No, no, rem- no, Chris Evans. Captain Chris, oh, America, Chris Evans. Sorry, Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Chris Evans. Yeah, same. He's been yeah. Captain America. Yeah. He's been in The Losers, an action comedy. Uh, he's been in rom coms, and so he has had a very even wider than uh, Hemsworth. Yeah, because he's been in the industry a lot longer. Uh, well, not a lot longer, but a couple of years longer. I don't know how old those guys are. Um, I mean, if I looked at him, I'd say they're all 26. I would say, I would agree with you, because he's been part of the Fantastic Four and part of the Avengers. Yeah. Where Hemsworth's only been uh, Thor, and he chased a whale in a movie that nobody saw, apparently. (laughs) (laughs) Well, he did fight off the Russians in high school. He did do that. Swayze did it first, though. (laughs) And he he also... uh, you know, rode a motorcycle off a cliff into a force field. That was, uh, we covered that one. That was his <laughs> casting for Thor, apparently. <laughs> Thor! Oh my god. But yeah, I mean, I go back to, look at look at Ben Affleck. Look at the tons of directors he's worked under. Yeah. Behind his hand. Like, his movies, he directs, they're awesome. Mm-hmm. Everything he's done. But yeah, even if you don't like him as bad. He just did a movie recently I never saw. The Accountant? I think that might have been it. It's great. It is. I thought it looked good. I, mean, I love Ben Affleck. Yeah. Um, Gone Baby Gone, Far, or um, not Fargo, what's it called? Um, the one with the, the reporter crew that got held hostage behind the. It was oh, I story. totally know what you're. I know it. I Argo. Know, Argo, yeah. I said Fargo. Drop the F, Sean. <laughs> uh, the town. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's. Yeah, he, he's great. Goodwill hunting. Goodwill hunting. But, uh, yeah, so that's not the Defenders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I also have, I got another one here. You Are you aware that Preacher's back on? I Yes, I heard. <laughs> I am not caught up. I haven't even, have yet to finish season one in, in its entirety. It's just, it's so, so intense. Lord, it's hard for me to like watch, like binge watch. Yeah, I, uh, of course I'm, I'm I'm caught up in current. The second season is more comic, yeah, related. So I'm like, oh, it's starting to look a lot familiar to me now. No. I, have, but, uh, I have a huge problem with finishing series because like I, I I have too many eggs in my basket, so to speak. Yeah, like I'm what you know, preacher, all the Netflix shows. I'm reading comics. I'm playing video games. I'm recording. I'm editing. I'm like. Uh, there's not enough time in the day. <laughs> and then that work gets in the way. Yeah, too. damn job. But uh, all right. Well, you know, if you if you, I got a little book for you here by Garth Ennis. Garth Ennis. Jimmy's Bastards. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Garth Ennis is doing a book now. Now think think James Bond. Mm-hmm. Okay. His name is J- Jimmy Regent. <laughs> Jimmy Regent. It's, bas- it's James Bond. You you read this, you'll be like, this is James Bond. <laughs> Sounds like the blue collar version of James Bond. Yeah, check this out though. It's it's a James Bond universe. Mm-hmm. Okay, with all the and he's going up against like comic book worthy villains. Yeah. Like I'd say James Bond fights Doctor Doom. Something like along those lines. But yeah, I mean yeah, they yeah. have their own characters. But the whole time while he's doing his super agent stuff and doing this, uh his past indiscretions are catching up with them and he's dealing He's exploring what happens when Bond's sexual past 
catches up with him. <laughs> and he comes back to haunt him. That's, Hence the name, Jimmy's Bastards. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> dad, Dad. He's got all these kids, that, these illegitimate kids. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Mr. Bond. Yeah, yeah. And, why, and, does this, why does he have my eyes? <laughs> So weird. He looks he's, like my dad. It's so weird. He's going up against, like, let's say, Red Skull the Hydra. Like, a couple agents come at him. He's like, wow, well, they look like me. <laughs> you know? But, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be just as messed up as only Garth Ennis could do. <laughs> so. Oh, man. You know what other movie I'm really... There's another movie coming out. I can't remember the name, but it's a Jackie Chan movie. Mm-hmm. And it's... the. Like Jackie Chan versus Pierce Brosnan. Really? Yeah, it looks pretty dope. I'll check it out. Gee, I haven't seen Jackie Chan in, in a while. Yeah, his his career he's been doing mostly you know uh, side roles in directing roles in kung fu movies in China. Okay, like, that that's what he's mostly been doing the past couple of years. Okay, got a uh, another fun one for you. Shoot, a couple. Of, we got a uh, now. The WB and DC are doing some crossover books. Yes. Um, now, picture... Are you familiar with Marvin the Martian? Yes. Yes, I am. The Warner Brothers Looney Tunes? Mm-hmm. Thing? Okay. He gets to go up against Jean Jones. <laughs> Martian Manhunter. That's awesome. And the story goes, they keep Marvin the Martian the same... But a little less funny, haha, a little more threatening. Mm-hmm. All the while, while Mar- Martian Manhunter is dealing with personal issues and being, you know, doing his home on Mars. Yeah. Um, certain his sur- certain surroundings that you know w- don't want to go into because it'll spoil the book. Yeah, yeah. But basically, the pl- the, the the synopsis is Martian Manhunter needs to stop Marvin the Martian from blowing up Earth because. Marvin the Martian thinks Earth is in the way of his view of Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like one of the cartoons. You know, that actually reminds me of something I I think I told you about a little bit. Because I've actually, now that you, you just jogged my memory. Thank you, Sean. Uh, I, okay. Now that I remember, I've known this was in the works for a little while. Uh-huh. Because I remember reading online. I thought it might have been a joke at the time. Because, uh-huh. Elmer Fudd versus Batman. Is it, okay, are they doing? Because they're doing a couple other ones. I was going to lay re- on. I you. remember seeing a thing online about it in my Google News feed. I was like, "Oh, really?" They're doing Elmer Fudd. They're also doing because uh, I, I didn't see that one, so that that's news to me. But they also laid out one with um, Yosemite Sam, mm-hmm. Jonah Hex, <laughs> 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 and then this is the other one that, that really got me too. Tornado what? versus the <laughs> Tasmanian Devil. <Yeah. laughs> Wiley Coyote hires Lobo <laughs> to track down and capture the Roadrunner. <laughs> That's freaking funny. <laughs> and he's got all their tools, and, he, and he, they, they put all their little things together. Of course, all his Acme stuff. <laughs> you know what I want to see? I need to see in the Green Lantern Corps movie. Duck Dodgers in the background. Duck Dodgers? <laughs> or Daffy Duck. Yeah. Because uh, Daffy Duck is a Green Lantern. Yeah. Yes, he is. In the 25th and a half century. <laughs> Duck Dodgers. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that could be another one. So I didn't know about the Batman Elmer Fudd one. Yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Green Lantern and Duck Dodgers? Yeah. You are despicable. Nightwing and, oh, man. Nightwing and Darkwing? <laughs> I was just about to say, uh, I, w- I would love for them to do a Darkwing duck. They redid that for a while, and then it just canceled. Yeah. Yeah, they were going to pop that out real quick. I had a couple people that were like, yeah, I'll get some Darkwing duck. Yeah, I used to watch it. I'm like, and next thing I know, it's like, not there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what happened? Uh, DC themselves kind of have too many eggs in their own basket right now like yeah. they got a lot going on between their books and trying to you know start their own cinematic universe and make it successful i mean they were off to a rocky start things are looking up 
But, yeah, they got a lot going on. I mean, they've done, in the past, like, years, I mean, the Flintstones comic book, which I heard is really good. Yeah, yeah. I heard it was go. really good. Um, I heard rumor they might do a Jetsons comic book. Not positive. That oh, makes sense. It I mean, might have, I think it was just an internet rumor or, like, you know, wishful thinking. Right. But, yeah. There's, you know, DC and Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers owns the rights to a lot of stuff. I mean, they have the lo- all the Looney Tunes. They had Marvel, not Marvel, DC characters. And there's so much that they can do. I mean, I remember a cartoon series when I was younger. Uh, and it was basically all the Looney Tunes characters in like a futuristic like Batman Beyond type of society where they were all superheroes. Really? Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't on for very long, but I remember it. That, that's I'm not. I got nothing. That's that's not even. Draw, maybe, draw a maybe it was a fever dream. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Hopeful thinking of my like you know ten twelve year old self. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just bring a leak. What's going on there? <laughs> you gotta drink my soda pop. <sighs> so, uh. I'm not going to hold you back anymore. <laughs> I'm going to unleash the beast. Dun, dun, dun. J- Sean, tell me a little bit more about Dark Knight Metal. Yes. It's been a while <laughs> since we've, I've, I've been on like a Batman. We haven't talked about Batman a lot in well, a while. Yeah, we haven't gotten any threats in a while either. <laughs> All right. Dark Knight's Metal. It is... Snyder and Capullo's yes. new pet project. Back together, reunited. It feels so good. Feels so good. Dark Knight's Metal. Well, actually, it starts with um, Dark Days Forge. Dark Days Forge. Yeah, and I will put up the the reading list yeah. for everybody. But yeah, you got... I'll just do the two here. Dark Days Forge number one comes out the 14th of this month. All right, all right. And then Dark Days the Casting number one comes out. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Forge is out. That was June 14th. Oh. The Casting comes out 12th of this month. All right. So, and then it is leading into uh, the Dark Knight's Metal, Mm -hmm. which is August 16th. So those are the first three. All right. There are one shots that are going to come up that I kind of just want to go over. Each each of these issues will feature a different corrupted version of Batman. Hmm. Okay. Spawned from the dark multiverse and teases the secret history of the entire DC universe. Interesting. <laughs> What are your thoughts on this? Hmm. <laughs> no, but when they when they do a Dark Knight's Metal, there are three metal metal components mm-hmm. that have been around forever, and from what I get, they're going to take you back to certain events that we all have read and known, and how those metals were featured. Yeah, like the uh, the Lazarus Pit. Mm-hmm. There's traces of of the certain metal um, Electrum that was in the water. Uh-huh. Which helps keep uh, Reja Ghul. You know, mm-hmm. it keeps going in there and, and yeah, eternal. Yeah. Um, also found in Batman. Apparently, there's a thing where Batman had a blood sample of um, Deathstroke. Mm-hmm. It's it's in his blood. Oh, so that was like the mir- something like inside the Mirakuru type yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, so, yeah. So, well, I, I say that because that the Mirakuru is fresh in my mind from Arrow, but like. Uh, Deathstroke was part of a super soldier program. Yeah, it's it's just they, they'll go. I could be wrong about this, but they're going to like place, like remember when such and such happened, or you know, this metal was here. Here's what mm-hmm. happened, and the three metals are they're called Electrum, Dionysium, and Inth. 
Nth Metal. I was going to say Nth Metal is probably one Nth metal. that has been a staple in DC Comics yeah. for quite a while. Right. Nth Metal is like their adamantium or vibranium, except instead of being like a crazy scientific thing, it's more of like a enchanted metal of the gods. It's what they use to fight ghosts and... Uh, Hawkman's mace. Yeah. Which they're bringing him back to. I don't know. If people... Hawkman doesn't have a really big following, but they killed him off. How yeah. many people know that? <laughs> and that's in the list, too. I mean, this is a long list. But these one-shots are really cool. Like, uh, September 20th, Batman Red Death, which is... An e- these are all evil versions of Batman mm-hmm. mixed, meshed with, like... Red Death is the Flash. Yeah. Um, you have Batman Murder Machine, which is evil Batman meshed with Cyborg. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Dawnbreaker, I believe that is Bat... I don't Maybe Batgirl? Wonder Woman? <laughs> but it's evil. Hmm. Sharks with freaking laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> Sharks with freaking laser beams. Is it an evil Batman? heads. Of course, this is a no-brainer. Batman the Drowned. Huh. Evil. I wonder Aqua who Batman. that could yeah. be. <laughs> uh, I love this one. Batman the Merciless. That is an evil lantern Batman. Huh. Which, I love to see how they do that. And this one, the last two are just get me the most. Batman the Devastator. Mm-hmm. That is a doomsday evil Batman. Oh, whoa. Yeah. And then... The one that just the, to end the one shots is the the Batman who laughs. I don't need to say. Huh. <laughs> it's been. I think they've done everything with those two. What, Might as well just mesh them together. What a conundrum! Yeah. I wonder what it could be. Yeah, the presence of all these characters will infect some DC villains Ooh. in here. And you know, like the you got the Penguin, the Joker. Well, not so much the Joker now, but Penguin, Riddler. You know, the, the ones that are still existing right now, yeah. as we talk, that want to bring Gotham down. And it's going to be spilling over into a series of crossover stories. And it's going to start with, uh, it's called Gotham Resistance. And that's a, a, I don't know if it's a mesh or, like I said, put the list up, for yeah. the reading list. Yeah. But Gotham Resistance looks like a... Uh, uh, collaboration of Teen Titans, Nightwing, and Suicide Squad. That sounds interesting. And I'm not familiar with the giant red bat that Damien is writing. Uh, that is something he got in his own Son of Batman storyline. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I've been meaning to read that storyline for a while. I haven't gotten around to picking it up yet. Okay, so that's... Uh... But yeah, it's something he's had for the past couple of years. Yeah. Usually okay. they don't make him look that like detailed or bat like. Usually he looks more like kind of like a big monster type thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't familiar at all. Yeah, that's Goliath. Goliath. Okay. His giant Ooh. pet bat. Right on, man. Yeah, Damien. I like that. I like that kid. He's going. <laughs> he's going. He's going places. He's go- this kid's going places. But he's like, fuck you, old man. I've been places. <laughs> In there, killed that. <laughs> yeah, right. And yeah, so I am very much looking forward to see. Like I said, it sounds kind of eh on paper, at least in my opinion. But when I see Snyder and Capullo on there, yeah, I'm just like, all right, I gotta do it. <laughs> I just want to get those one shots mm-hmm. for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely wait for the trade paperback myself. Yeah, that's always the way to go, but. That's a, it's gonna be a long wait. Yeah, some, the, the, some... run, the run is just started. Yeah, so it's gonna be a while. A for, while. A while. Yeah. Some cool Dark some Knight's cool metal and Dark Days Forged. Forged the metal. So I can't help but think. I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm no Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to like decipher the clues that they put just in the titles alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know there's something there. But, you know, afterwards, I'll be, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Oh, that makes there sense. There it is. How did I not realize that before? Know, but that, that it, that's the fun part of going along with these guys and their stories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mama can't miss her stories. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Dark Knight's Metal. We'll see. Yeah. 
Um, I'm hoping for good things. That's it. That's all you got? That's all I got. All righty. Uh, Unless you want me to go through each and every one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could. We'd be here all day, but... It takes us into April of next year. <laughs> oh, Trade paper bags out. Trade paper. I'm still going down oh, the list. My sciatica. <laughs> Volume two's out. I'm still going down the list. Why are you doing this to me? You won't stop talking about Batman. I left and went to the bathroom like two years <laughs> worth. No, I figure just a visual list will be Why allowed did, me to. I, at some point, he I, I turned it onto live, so it's just going out live to <laughs> you. Your internet bills through the roof. <laughs> Um, People started to listen to this and now graduated college. <laughs> I'm still going. Um, yeah, we don't have uh, too much going on. We're kind of in, you know, purgatory as far as like movies and comics go right now. Go see Spider-Man. Yeah, so we're going to go see Spider-Man after it comes out. Uh, we'll have a lot to say about that one. On the hopefully. I mean, if, if we don't have a lot to say, that means it was another... BVS situation because we don't want to shit on it. We don't want to shit on it. Um, We're not going to need to. <laughs> I, did, I did have a lot to say about BVS. But <laughs> we, we, we held it in. Yeah. We bottled our emotions like men. <laughs> We're not manly men because <laughs> we get bottled emotions towards a superhero movie. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, Neither one of our moms are named Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> Let's go do karate in the garage. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're super stoked for Spider-Man. Uh, I think next week I might talk a little bit about... Not, not next week. Well, maybe, depending on once we both see... Because we're not going to talk about it, uh, Spider-Man until we've both seen it. So hopefully we'll both have seen it by recording day next week. Um... And we'll talk about it. Uh, but the next comic book I'm planning on talking about is... I just don't have my notes in order for it yet. Is uh, Titans Rebirth. The Teen Titans Rebirth. Yeah. Damien Knows Best. Um, oh, he rides a giant red bat. Yeah, he does. <laughs> it's part of the team. Right on. Super good book. Can't wait to tell you guys about that one. Uh, and a little bit of extra news. I'm going to be trying to put out an extra video each week alongside our podcast. It's going to be kind of a Let's Play style video. I mean, I'm, I sit at home and play video games all the time. I might as well record it and put it online for you guys. And uh, normally I don't talk too much when I play video games by myself, but I'll fix that for the sake of recording. God's sakes, for the sake of recording, put some pants on. When you're I'm at home. <laughs> Doesn't I, matter. There are no cameras. I'm good to go. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try and do that for you guys. Um, more content equals more views. More views equals more subscribers, etc., etc. I want to grow the channel. I want us to be a you know, big group of friends that you know, all have these passions that we want to come and talk about. Yeah. Whether it be me and Sean or Sean and Jimmy, me and Garrett, me and Josh, Josh and Sean, any of the Nest Productions crew getting together, talking about our passions, our geek love, and sharing it with you guys. And that's why I always say, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. I want you guys to go down and Tell us about your opinions on these things. Like, what did you guys think about the Wonder Woman movie? I mean, yeah. you thought it was awesome, of course, but <laughs> we want to know. I want to, you know, I usually uh, try and reply to the comments. I, I read all of them when they, as soon as I notice them. I don't always reply because I don't have anything good to say half the time. You guys know. You've, you're listening. That's not, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm babbling on. <laughs> You know, we, uh, but uh, I usually reply from my my normal YouTube account because that's what I have uh, on my phone is just my standard YouTube uh, account that I, I have all my subscriptions to. 
So you'll know it's me. It'll say Ryan Gibson and picture of my ugly mug next to it. <laughs> I subscribe when you come, or I, I comment, reply, whatever, when you come to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sit behind an internet. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, you know, what do you what do you what are you planning on on seeing uh, Spider Man? Uh, I might go tomorrow, <coughs> uh, Friday. Uh, get to the latest showing as early as I can. Yeah, I want to go Sunday after I close the shop. But if for whatever reason that both you know like I want another repeat of Wonder Woman. <laughs> I mean, if worse comes to worse, we could get Johnny on the you and I could just. Take a day off and have Johnny on the spot coming in here to do his homecoming with Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just have him record by himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're both really looking forward to Spider-Man. Uh, can't wait to talk about it with you guys. Uh, if you're excited for Dark Knight Metal, give this video a thumbs up and let us know. Uh, if, you've, if you've gotten one of the books already... Let us know if it's any good. No spoilers or anything, but let us know how it is. Like, you know, good, bad, ugly. Uh-huh. Um, I'm starting off Spider-Man. I got on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's nice. <coughs> um, so I'm going to be trying to put out more video get videos for you guys to watch. Uh, so, like, we're still going to be uploading podcasts on Saturday. I'm going to try and upload the video game videos on Thursday. Probably in the afternoon-ish. So, it's going to be a work in progress. I, I'm, doing all the, I'm doing the YouTube editing and the videos, and I still have my current job. So, it might go up late, it might go up early, it kind of depends on, you know, how much free time I have. Like, I, I kind of chose Thursday as the day because I usually don't do any of my editing. I usually do start all my editing on Thursday, finish it up Friday for the podcast. And I don't usually edit after I go home recording because i just been recording. I just want to relax and chill. And, uh, you know, anyways, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm the I'm, I'm I'm the bishop of Babylon. Oh, I see that. The bishop of Babylon. I like that. Um, so the thank you guys for of Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Please uh, let us know your thoughts and impressions down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to just subscribe, because if you don't subscribe and hit that bell icon, you might miss our uploads. Um, so. As always, have a day.